Hi, and welcome to the demonstration of Universal Software. We will be looking at how to perform a standard test in this clip and concentrate on a fatigue test. On the main screen, click Open. This gives you the option to choose a test profile to load. Select the fatigue test profile. Once this loads, you can choose a project folder to store the data files. The test is preloaded and the only parameters that need to be entered are the specimen name, dimensions and comments, where information about the preparation and other details can be stored. Press next when these parameters are entered. The second data entry screen details the test parameters and the breakdown of stages. These can be modified if required. Click the start button to start the test. The hardware initialization starts, so place the specimen under the actuator and send the actuator down to make contact. Press OK when the holding load is stable. In the next dialog, set up LBTs to a suitable position. Press OK when satisfied to start the test. There are two data tables. The acquired data table displays the input from the hardware, whereas the calculated data table displays the calculated data. The option is available to view either the maximum, minimum or peak-to-peak -peak value for each of these and can be observed on the data table. A separate dialog is also available to view the formulae used for the calculated data table. Other objects on screen include the current status of the stage and limit indicators. The limit indicators allow you to view the current position in the range and specify if a particular input or output is critical so the test has to stop when the limit is reached. On the waveform graph, multiple plots can be displayed. There are various functions on the test screen to manipulate the observation of the waveform to take measurements while the test is running. One of these is the cursor. These can be used to snap to a certain plot so comparisons or measurements can be made. These include measuring rise time, pulse width and so on. The test profile shows the current stage details. In the summary graph, the same functionality is available. This is a historic graph from the start of the test so that the trend can be observed. Here is another demonstration of how to measure the rest period between two pulses. The test stops when the deformation has reached 10 mm in this test and this could be based on cycles, time or vertical deformation. Thank you for watching and please visit our website to contact us for more details.